Welcome to Gothic Homemaking. Today is an auspicious occasion because we're doing a rare unboxing video. I don't normally do unboxing videos because they're very popular and I apparently don't want to be very popular. But today I have a box and I want to tell you a little bit about how this showed up here. So during this Halloween season, while I was doing all of these Halloween hauls, you reached out and you told me in the comments that I should review Joanne Fabric and Craft Stores. Now, I've never ever been to one. We don't have any in New York City, but I took your words to heart. And subsequently, while I was flying to Florida to do a show in Jacksonville, I stopped at a Joanne and I did a Halloween haul. Now, I simply posted a video on my Instagram page and truth be told, it's one of my favorite hauls of the season. And I said I was so excited for being there for the very first time ever after having heard about it for so many years. A representative from Joanne Fabrics saw the video and they reached out to me and they said, hey, what's your uh, mailing address? Can we send you a box of cool stuff? And who doesn't want a box of cool Halloween stuff? I'm gonna open up this box with my favorite cutting tool, my Obake knife, which was given to me by my good friend, Direwolf who you might know as Antonio the Werewolf. Well, let's find out what's inside. Um, well, there's some, some paper. There's a letter. To Aurelio Voltaire from Joanne herself. <laughs> let's see what it says. Hey Aurelio, we saw you post a review of your initial visit to one of our stores and first off, congratulations. We're so glad you made it to a store and found a few things you wanted to bring back to your lair. I did indeed bring a lot of things from Joanne back to my lair. Because we would absolutely be honored to contribute a few additional items to your set, we've included some of our favorite goth fabrics and goth props. We're dead serious. Are they as punny as I am? We're dead serious when we say they're totally spooktacular. They are as punny as I am. We hope you enjoy Fang so much. Okay, they're punnier than I am. Fang so much, your friends, Joanne Store. Very, very kind of them to send me these gifts. Let's see what's inside. Oh my God, I've always wanted more paper. I'm kidding, that's that's not one of the gifts. Uh, well, the first thing that I notice is this. Oh, no, all right, now that's gorgeous. And that's a beautiful glittery black wreath. Uh, and I did not see this when I was in the store. So this is definitely something that I would have bought while I was there. So that's a lovely addition to the lair. But I'm sure we can find somewhere really cool for this. It's really, really pretty, really pretty, and will totally, totally fit in here. Let's see what else is in here. This is the bat garland that I picked up while I was in the store. And uh, so this is something that I've already bought. So now I have a free gift one. And as everybody knows, when I'm doing stuff in the lair that involves garlands like this, I always need more than one. So thank you, Joanne fabrics because I can definitely use this and oh, succulents now if I'm not mistaken I saw these when Angela Benedict did her Halloween haul at Joanne if I'm not mistaken I know I saw these in another uh, gothic youtubers Halloween haul and I thought they were really really cute and I did see them at the store in Florida when I was there but I had already kind of blown my budget and I didn't get these, so this is a really pleasant surprise. This is something I wanted to get and didn't while I was in the store. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And next up, we have these. I think there's a couple of them in here. Now oh, these are interesting. So they're sort of velvet covered battery operated candles I think it's uh, batteries not included. <laughs> so I'll put my own batteries in it, but I'll tell you what's interesting about this. 
I'm not gonna flatter myself and tell myself that the people at Joanne Fabrics actually watch the show, but everybody here knows that the color scheme in the layer is black and purple. So the fact that these are purple, excellent choice, Joanne Fabrics. Thank you so much. This is really gonna come in handy. I feel like it's Christmas. Though truth be told, I always feel like it's Christmas around Halloween. And next up we have this guy. Oh, okay, I think this, this flowers might be coming up. Oh, that, well, that's a rather lovely skull. Um, and it's got some succulents and flowers on it. I recently saw that Atlas Obscura, which is a group that I follow, is doing a guided tour of Peruvian death culture. It's, I think, the second week of November. I desperately wanted to go, but I've already booked shows that week. And some of the photographs that I saw looked exactly like this. They had Peruvian real human skulls adorned with flowers, and they put those out around Day of the Dead to, to celebrate their ancestors. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. This is a really, really beautiful piece, although, I might paint these flowers black. I may have said that because I really plan to, or I may have said that because I just want you to take a shot because you know the Gothic homemaking drinking game is every time I say paint it black, you have to take a shot. And for you kids out there, I mean a shot of orange juice because it's high in vitamin C and it's good for you. Now this box is getting rather empty. We're getting down to the bottom of it. But I do see something inside that I find rather intriguing, and that is something that will fit right in, a black pumpkin. And I think this is a lovely decoration of fun Funkins. The incredible Funkins artificial carvable pumpkin. This can't be carvable. Wait a minute. Carve it like a real pumpkin. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I, I can't read, I, I'm old, I need my glasses to read. Don't make fun of Grandpa. Funkins have long been the favorite of professional pumpkin carvers, florists, and fall and Halloween decorators with improved glow through for sculpted this. Oh my, this is actually a carvable pumpkin. And look at the designs. Though I'm guessing you'd probably want to put like a battery operated candle in here as opposed to an open flame. And it works just like a real pumpkin, except much cooler than a real pumpkin. It's black! That's amazing. Thank you. Well, we're nearing the bottom of the box, but before I get to the last items, I want to tell you that when I did my review of Joanne Fabric and Crafts store, uh, some of you intrepid viewers pointed out that I didn't look at any of the fabrics, and you'd be completely correct. Um, I think I was just so absorbed with making sure that I saw all of the Halloween decorations. And also, I had a show that night in St. Augustine, Florida, and I was racing to it, so I completely missed the most obvious thing that one should probably look at when they go to that store. Uh, but Joanne Fabrics has um, righted that wrong, because the last items in this box are some really lovely pieces of fabric. For instance, there's this one, sort of like a damask skull print. And this one, sort of a, I describe it as a, like a sepia tone um, Ouija board design. And then last but not least, this one, which is like an x-ray morbid anatomy motif now i don't sew but i'm pretty sure that if we give these to miss amy she might be able to whip up some cushions or make me like a really spooky thong or something <laughs> now i have to tell you when i go and i do a review and a halloween haul of any one of these stores i do a really honest review i go in there and i look to see what's good and not just what's good but what i can use year round and i was really blown away by Joanne, I think, as was probably obvious from my Halloween haul. But what I never ever expect is that any of these places is even going to notice that little old spooky me is trolling around inside of their store. So I just want to say thank you so much to Joanne Fabrics and Craft Stores for appreciating that I was there. Uh, I really legitimately loved everything that you had in there. 
and most importantly, at the age of 51, I feel embarrassed that it's taken me so long to make it to one of those stores. So I commend those of you who have been shopping there forever, and those of you who never have, I can honestly tell you, you should check it out. They have really, really great things for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a happy and safe Halloween. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe so that you'll never miss another Gothic homemaking video. Full episodes of Gothic Homemaking can be seen right here on The Lair of Voltaire.